So this joint almost just burnt down. What the f yo, bro? Y'all see that? Yerp. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to it again. Another episode of JI Productions. It's your boy JI, and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. As you guys can see, we are in a JI HQ. I do have the hood popped on Vader. Um, and you guys saw the beginning of this video, plus the title and the thumbnail. So y'all already know what's going on. So we're just about to go ahead and get straight into it, man. Um, basically, I was on the way home from work um, and literally just sitting at a red light. All of a sudden, smoke starts bellowing through the AC vents all inside the cabin. I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't know. Like, literally my whole thought process as soon as i seen the smoke was look down at the gauges and see if the car was starting to overheat or if anything was physically wrong um gauges looked perfectly fine i hurried up cut the car off hopped out popped the hood on the car um when i popped the hood no smoke came out all the co the coolant looked fine everything all the caps were on oil cap coolant cap everything was on there was no smoke in the engine bay i was like okay i also noted remember noting that the temps were good so i hopped back in the car cut the car back on when i turned the car on um i checked the temps again everything was fine turned on the ac I didn't have any smoke bellowing into the cabin anymore, but there was still smoke like in the cabin. So I pulled over to the gas station and remember, cut the car off. Now, like I said, I had already popped the hood and noticed that there was no smoke from the hood. So what other place is left? The trunk. So I went ahead, I popped the trunk. As soon as I popped the trunk, a whole like gust of big ass cloud of smoke just came out from the trunk. I was like, yo, what the hell? I pulled the battery cover, as you guys saw in the video from the iPhone footage. Um, I pulled the battery cover, the little liner that goes inside the trunk, pulled it back, and this is what I found. My terminal, I guess the wire touched both the positive terminal and the negative terminal somehow and literally grounded itself out because the switch was touching metal as well. But bruh, my shit just, holy fuck. Yo, we gotta get back to the crib. All right, you guys, so this is the aftermath of the basic fire that happened. Um, as you guys can see, the padding of the liner is kind of charred and brown now. Um, the wire was actually resting up against this. And then it actually, if you look right here on the positive terminal. So as y'all can see on the positive terminal right there, there's a burn mark. Getting a little closer now, as you guys can see on the negative terminal, the nut that goes around the stud actually is burnt as well. So what happened was I actually had this switch zip tied off to the side um, out the way for this exact reason so that I wouldn't have anything grounding out. What happened was when everything was reinstalled back in the car, <laughs> this was just left hanging. Um, so this wire ended up touching the positive and the negative terminals at the same time and then the switch was on the chassis of the car so basically this wire ended up grounding out and as you guys can see it burnt itself there was so much power current electrical current going through this wire that it literally burnt through the plastic rubber trim that goes around it as you guys can see you can see bare wire here and it was melting it and it was literally on fire. So if I never pulled over and checked the trunk or who knows man, if I was driving and had the windows down and didn't notice the smoke, whatever the case may be, I smelt it for sure. But like if I didn't know what I know about cars, I, you know what I'm saying? This could have been bad. Evidently, I probably would have been out of a car to be honest, just keeping it a buck, man. 
things like this happens all the time to normal people who don't really have that much knowledge about car stuff. Your average Joe would have popped the hood, seen that there was no smoke or anything like that, seen nothing, um, no lights or check engine lights or anything on the gauges, on the dashboard, and would have kept driving. But me, I'm gonna check it. Car guys, car girls, y'all already know. When you have an issue with your car, you gotta, you gotta know. You can't have that peace of mind until you figure out what's wrong with it and you fix it. So that being said, this switch right here was literally for my third brake light um, from Sequence. As you guys know, I'm sponsored by Sequence. They make third brake lights for um, Mustangs, Chargers, Challengers, Camaros, the works, man. Um, and they actually have like a party function, and then they have the actual brake function, which is basically dancing LEDs. I put a clip up in this video. so you guys can check it out. Use my promo code if you're interested. Go shop, get something for your car. It's really dope to be honest. Um, this is actually my second set. I've had one on my fifth gen Camaro Mamba as well. So if I bought it twice, then you guys already know I like it for real. So if you're interested, go tap in with them. But yeah, man, um, Vader almost caught on fire and that could have been extremely 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 devastating not only for me but for you guys as well because this is the main content bringer for the channel so that being said if i'm without the car i can't make content if i can't make content i can't drop vlogs if i can't drop vlogs then y'all know <laughs> but with that being said though Thankfully, I was able to yank this wire, disconnect it. It has no power now. I'm actually going to be rewiring everything. Um, I have to go to AutoZone and grab some more wire and some more wire connectors. Um, I'm going to clean everything up. And I'm actually thinking about running the switch to be inside the cabin next to me in the center console area. That way, when I'm at a car meet and stuff like that and I'm pulling in, I can actually just turn on the show function. Or whenever I'm gapping one of these slow 5.0 boys, I'll go ahead and cut on that party function and give you something even better to look at while you're looking at this rear end. You dig what I'm saying? But with all that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I got a lot of things that I got to do to Vader to get it back 100%. As you guys know, if you've been in tune with all the vlogs, we're having mad electrical issues with this car right now. Um all due to something that I installed on the car um, to try to get some more content for you guys. Um, and it didn't go well, kind of fried a lot of things. If you guys haven't been in the loop with all the videos, make sure you go tap in with the previous videos um, that dropped earlier this week. Updating you guys on the state with Vader. Honestly, this car has been kind of my problem child for the past couple of months. Um, so that being said, y'all, just stay tuned. Just keep supporting your boy. We hit 5.8 thousand subscribers on YouTube. We're almost at 6K. We're on the road to 10K. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for the kid, please. And follow your boy on Instagram, J.I. Productions underscore, and TikTok, J.I. Productions. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to roll that outro. <sighs> I ain't going to lie. I almost lost my baby. Like... That would have been crazy, bruh. Like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know what I would have did if I would have lost this car for real. But that being said, y'all, that's going to wrap it up for this vlog. Let's go ahead and just roll that outro. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.